So right now, I just got out of the shower. I'm about to start filming, but I wanted to let y'all see what happens when I do my hair. Uh, I am fully natural, and she has really grown. She's still a little wet. I try not to towel dry my hair at all. I When I get out the shower, I just let it do what it does. Uh, I'm going to be using Garnier. Sleek and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. I always use this conditioner. I'm kind of low, so uh, I'm going to take the top off. And I'm just going to rub this in. I used a protein treatment. Um, so, that's... My hair is a little stripped of its natural everything. Um... And I just take my time and work it through from root to tip. And I finger, I, I just do it with my hands. I don't use a brush or a comb, even though I have those items on hand. Um, but I, I usually just part it with my fingers and just go through my hair to make sure I got the leave-in conditioner everywhere. Y'all, I'm so, so, I'm so proud of my hair. She's just done grown and grown and grown. And these edges are still here. Girl, this is some thick hair. I, I do mean, and I still have my undercut back there it's probably time to get um get it shaved down i don't know i just i don't have the patience to grow that part out and um um maybe in, i don't know i don't know when i'm gonna uh let my undercut grow out uh no time soon <laughs> um so yeah, I'm just going through doing what I usually do and just I make sure it's in every area I go through and make sure I have leave-in conditioner ooh, ooh, everywhere. Back, front, the crown. That's what I do. And I actually, sometimes I just, I just massage my, I massage it in. <laughs> I massage it in. I don't, I think I'm just going to leave it up in a scrunchie today. Uh, one of the products that I have uh, fallen in love with is from Miel or Miel, Miel, uh, Miel pomegranate and honey coil, sco coil sculpting custard, and I'm about out of this, y'all. I really, I really use this a lot, so I'm going to go through and. My hair will the it's already it's already got its curls, but uh, I like to use this to actually for the part of my hair. I have different textures and on on my head, so some uh, coil up real good and some parts of it doesn't. So I do like to use a curling custard. And more often times than not, I will just put it up in a ponytail and let it dry. So this is my little wash and go right now. And I just try and make sure I get it all the way down to the root. Um, I don't really do a lot to my hair when it's not braid it up this is what i do and 
It's wild. My aunt loves my wild hair. I do too sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like, girl. And then, you know, you can only see the shit can go. <laughs> I've done that sometimes and left my hair just like that and came on camera. Uh, because that's what your hair is supposed to do. You're supposed to just let it be sometimes. I think some of us over manipulate our hair. Let's see. Yeah, I'm putting a little bit more in this part. I thought about just doing a part down the middle and letting it go. She's getting so long though. It's time for a trim though, for real. I need a trim. She needs a trim. But I try and make sure I take my time and just like I did the conditioner, I go all over. And my hair, I think my hair is longer in the back than in the front. Um, I do think I need to get a, not only just a trim, but I also think I need to get it shaped to into something. I'm not sure. Uh, there are some styles that I saw, but... You know, Ashlyn is the grower of this head, and she's like, some style, she's like, no, that's too much. You can't cut that off. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put, I'm going to put it up, because I already bought my little hair tie. Put it up. <laughs> and I have to make sure it's on the right side girl did you just smack yourself with <laughs> and I just push it all the way up in the back and I push it up now you see somebody back there is cutting up who is cutting up back here? Let me make sure I rubbed it the room. Why does it sound like somebody's screaming? Girl, mind your business. Can I push it up a little bit more? <laughs> I'm so silly, but I'm gonna leave it like this. I don't care. Who likes it or no, let me push it back a little bit and I'll be back and because my my face is screaming and these and it's it's time for my skincare. So I'll be right All back. Right. We're back. Now this is you know on the days that I am on the days that I'm filming, first of all, let's just be truthful for a second. Uh, I've had a, another bout of depression and I think it starts when I'm not able to sleep and get, get good sleep. Hold on for a second. All right, I'm back. So I was talking about me going through my bout of depression and I'm finally able to film, uh, for the most part, I'm just going to start my skincare. Uh, Holy Hydration Eye Cream from e.l.f. Uh, usually it lasts usually about three to four days. 
and I think I started coming out of it yesterday. So I knew it was something, you know, uh, when you have a sick, sick child that can, how can I say, that can actually throw you or throw me into depression. Uh, because I'm trying to be, when she's, when Ashlyn is going through her MS infusion, and this will be the second time, um, I don't allow myself to feel anything. Um, I try and really stay positive. And I just, I don't allow myself to feel anything, to be honest with you. Now we got Holy Hydration Gel Yield Moisturizer. Y'all, I got these windows open over here. These uh, <laughs> blinds open because I'm waiting on Mr. UPS with my Sephora package. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, my God, that feels so good on my skin. It's, you know you got dry skin when even in the summertime your face is dry. Y'all, last week I did have uh, some... Um, I had a dry patch on my nose, and it was actually sunburn. So that made me get up and go out and get something, which I'll show y'all in a few minutes what I got. Oh, but that makes my face, my face feel so good. Another good find trying to put y'all up on game about the products that I be using and getting and I don't know if y'all be listening but girl y'all better start listening I got my nails down here that I'm about to put on I've already got them uh, sized my fingernail and everything so I'll be doing that and I have two pink outfits I have the shirt on right now but I also have a pink and white dress so that's why I'm gonna do my nails this color but I'm just letting this sink in for a few minutes so I'll be right back all right so the next thing I'm gonna put and I let my face dry with the gel uh, moisturizer so now I'm gonna do the booster drops and I'm almost out of this I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go ahead and pull Pull the uh, trigger on this part. And this, the drops, I just pat in. I, got it. I need some more. I need some more. Y'all, these drops is... I, bought, I didn't know I was going to like all this as, as good as I do. And so when I bought this, the little... Uh, skincare set from elf i did not know i was going to fall in love so i need to go get the full size facial wash the i've already got a full size i like gel moisturizer in the summertime so i got this i need to go get a full size of this and a full size of the eye cream and i mean it makes my dry my dryness feels so much better. Now, I'm going to let that sit. And then I'm going to put my e.l.f. skin. This is the Sun Touchable Invisible Sunscreen. Because I will be going out later. And I need sunscreen because I got burnt last week on my face. Mm -hmm. I got burnt. And we're not going to do that no more. So let me let this soak in. And then I'll come back and do this. All right, so um, the Booster Drops has serum has sunk in. So now I'm going to use the e.l.f. Sun Touchable. Now it says Invisible Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 35. Sun Protection Plus Blurring primer. 
So I'm not going to use a primer after I put this on because it's already in here. So we're just going to see what happens, okay? It, it doesn't have a smell. And here's the thing. When I first tried this on, you see... You see how it is now, right? When I first tried this on and you emulsify it in your hands, it's clear. And I just pressed that in too. And it really feels good. You know what? It really feels good. Mm. I love it when products work. But I do think I need a, a facial. Which I think I'll be trying to get this month. I'm not going to put it on my eyes. I'm just going to put it all over my face. Mmm. Wow. I don't even know if you're supposed to pat it on like that, but that's what I did. So, I'm going to let that seep in, seep in. I don't know if I want to put on foundation. I really want to be, like, carefree today. And we'll see what I do. I don't know. I don't really want to put on foundation. I don't know if it's because I'm waiting on that Danessa Myricks foundation coming in. Y'all, I changed my little setup. I took a video of it, so I'll put that in this video. But I don't know. I don't even know if I'm ready to put on makeup. But I'm gonna let this uh, sink in. This might be a no makeup makeup look. My face feels good though. All right, I'll be back. Girl, guess who is pulling up to the dough? The UPS man. But I'm gonna put some of this on. Come on through, baby. With the Sephora box. She walking back. Let me go get my package. I'll be right back. <laughs> Girl. gonna be a makeup look or if it's just gonna be a haul it's like music to your ears so first thing is my HD skin concealer makeup forever this was one of my um, little uh, where are they Oh, okay. Hold on. This is one of the rewards I got. So it's just these. And I'm going to stick that back up in there because I want to keep up with the... I want to keep up with that because I might order that. Next is another um, free thing uh, from Estee Lauder. Skin loving care futuristic futuristic hydro rescue hydra rescue moisturizing makeup coverage plus care hydrates soothes protects helps fight the visible signs of blue light and pollution with antioxidant 12 hour radiant go glow uh, you know what i'm probably ooh, ooh. So, I'm probably one of these. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. I think I'm sandalwood. Yeah, I'm sandalwood. But, okay, next. Now to the good things. So, we got Fenty Beauty's Liquid Kilowatt. And this is in Honey Potty. 
so it's a highlighter liquid highlighter from Fenty Excuse me. I don't want to push it too hard. I think I'm going to have to get something and poke this with. Let's see. Do I have anything over here? I don't think so. Wait a minute. There it, is. There it comes. Oh, wow liquid highlighter Ooh, ooh, ooh! you gotta be light with this one okay next is pectri uh no uh one size ultimate setting powder and this was ultra pink now i have the other one one size i have the regular one size this one is in translucent, but I got the pink. Let's see. Don't waste it. Okay, it's nothing on there. Let's see. pink so it's supposed to have a blurring effect let me read this so so the pink one is 24 hour shine control all day wear sweat proof no flashback luxurious and finely milled this setting powder blurs texture and controls excess excess oil for ultimate makeup insurance directions dust with a powder brush and bake with a puff for a soft matte finish no flashback so we'll see how this goes i, I like the other one but i still want it i want it. you know you always want more next mm. now i didn't put any perfume on just because i knew this was gonna show up now have y'all been hearing about the Kaili uh, Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar number 42? Now, I don't know if I'm going to like it. I tried to go to the Sephora here where I live so I can smell it before I bought it. But if I don't like it, I'll just give it to one of, one of the girls. I hope I like it. All right, Kaili, she ain't done me wrong. And this is her. This is just a travel size. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Ooh, I like this. Mm. Oh, she smells good. Oh. She doesn't smell childish. I heard a lot of people were afraid to actually get this because they thought it was just gonna smell like sugar. Mm. She doesn't smell like sugar to me, like a uh, childish scent. No. Uh, keynotes are candied pear. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Candy pear, sweet violet, bubble gum, white caramel, rock sugar, and vanilla cream.
I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. All I know is she smells good. I can't really... I can smell the candied pear. I can smell the white caramel. All I know is go pick her up. She's good. <laughs> She's good. Oh, wow. Next. I didn't get a lot, y'all. I really didn't. Yummy Skin, Vanessa Myrick's Beauty, Yummy Skin, Serum Skin Tint, Hydrate, Smooth, and Correct. Now, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this. I mean, I got the number 12. I don't know if uh, it's going to be a fit or not. Let me open this up. Ooh, y'all, see, this is Sephora. Y'all think this guy, I don't know, she might be too light. Let me see. Where's the brush? Oh. Oh, she feels good. And she blended in perfectly. Ooh, this is different. Hold on. Let me read. This skin-loving sheer coverage tinted serum is infused with hydrating, soothing, and correcting ingredients. Squeeze, swirl, tap on face, and blend with a brush or fingertips. So I'm going to have to do a second video. But so far, I really can't smell, I, I can't smell anything over the Kayali. Ooh, that Kayali smell good, y'all. I got to keep that box. And two more things. Now, I had fallen in love with molasses, the molasses. Uh, Sephora collection lip liner and something kept telling me I kept going by who is this one this one is mesquite I told y'all I had I was looking at mesquite so uh mesquite is kind of light I hope I like mesquite I love molasses I'm trying to get in here. Girl, I can smell, I can really smell that Kayali. She smells so damn good. So Mesquite is number 16. And so she's a whole lot brighter than molasses oh she's pretty i got that lip gloss on okay She's pretty and she she works good. I like I like her color. I didn't know if I was going to like her color. I thought she was like really really light, but okay, we got another good one. 
All right, and the last thing is, now, look, they don't sell this one anymore. This is the Bright Future. They don't sell this anymore. So I was looking for the next big thing. So this is Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. Natural finish, long wear, anti-pollution. And I have mines in the color 35N. All right, let's see. Now, she's a lot, she's not as light as I would want. Y'all, I'm kind of mad that I'm not going to be able to get And I really don't have much left. So I'm going to have to get something lighter. But I'll check and see what she's given once I actually do a makeup look. So those are the things that I got from Sephora. I got Yummy Skin from Danessa Myricks. I got... Mesquite from Sephora. The concealer, best skin ever. Now, y'all know, um, that means I'm going to have to go back and get another one of these. Because I got to pair it together. I got to pair it together. I got Kayali Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. She smells good. She has my approval. I got Fenty Beauty. Liquid Kilowatt in Honey Hottie. And I think that was it. Yeah. No. The uh, One Size Ultra Pink. So, um, yeah, that was my quick Sephora haul. Oh, man. I'm ready to play in some, but I don't want to get, I don't know. I'll be back.